On this fourth day of May, I'm moved with uh, the direction of the flow of our manual, um, 31 Days of Biblical Empowerment, to day four. Jesus is the blesser. Uh, Galatians 3. 13, 14 says it this way, Christ redeemed us from the curse of the law, having become a curse for us, for it is written, cursed is anyone everyone who hangs on a tree in order that Christ Jesus the blessing of Abraham might come <laughs> to the Gentiles so that we might receive the promise of his spirit on yesterday we saw where uh, the power of such spirit Holy Spirit wherein we are moving closer in this month the fourth Sunday becomes Pentecost Sunday the power of his spirit now, the other side to this, um, there is a blessing I think we would miss if our eyes were not open to the route Jesus took as he had to encounter and then lift. Um, or be lifted on Golgotha's skull-shaped mountain. But he did not carry the cross all the way. <laughs> and as painful, as burdensome, as... Um, I guess it could be a pale out of such a glaring picture of scripture. It could be said that African Americans are cursed. Possibly even uh, the brown brothers and sisters who, who are so close to black. Even uh, the yellow girls and boys, maybe even some factions uh, of um, the redness uh, of Indians uh, may have party and part in such what Simon of Cyrene had to encounter that one of the unique book in of salvation in Christ uh, obtains a, a volume of this blessing of Abraham. <laughs> this blessing of Abraham. We, we sing a song in our tradition, Must Jesus bear the cross alone and all of the world go free. No there's a cross for everyone, and there is a cross for me, the consecrated cross I'll bear. Could it be after uh, celebration of life for Andrew Brown on yesterday for family members, 
gardeners, the Floyd family, and other recent additions of the African ancestry, even some of our uh, brown brothers and sisters uh, celebrate in such uh, a point of convection, com convenience, and consecration. If this blessing of Abraham might come to the Gentiles, it has to be uh, in part because of what Christ did on the cross. Christ redeemed us from the curse of the law, having become a curse for us, for it is written, cursed is everyone who hangs on a tree. How did that tree get a, get a top? of Golgotha's skull-shaped mountain. God used Simon of Cyrene, Northern Africa, to carry the last leg of the cross. Where Jesus fell, Simon was there, impelled but he had to bear the cross, the last leg of Jesus' sojourn to Calvary. And in carrying in that last leg, and in, in Simon carrying in that last leg of the route Jesus had to take to Golgotha's skull-shaped mountain, could it be? that African Americans and all associated cultures that now are being grouped in such a period of our Lord's saga of salvation. Could, could it also be, could it, could it also be that in carrying this cross up Golgotha's skull-shaped mountain, looked by some as a curse, but by others as the blessing of Abraham being released, being released, being released through tears, through sorrow, in order that the Christ Jesus, in order that in Christ Jesus, in order that the one who actually hangs on the tree was born, was born, this cross was born by those of African descent and all hues associated the darkness of Africa has the light of life come to it through some of the darkest times of sorrow. Uh, I, I celebrate with the side of Simon. <laughs> uh, was able to look up and to see salvation's Savior on that cross that you help carry. He helped carry. We help carry. I speak life over you today, my brother, over you today, my sister, because that life is in the propitiation that was released when Christ said into thy hands I commend my spirit 
may the blessing of Abraham that came through him from the Father rest, rule, and abide over you, my brother, over you, my sister. It's part of this Pentecost blessing that we are in store for even in this month. <laughs> Don't miss your blessing by everything you hear on and see on TV. <laughs> God has a channel <laughs> on his TV set. I believe he that want you to miss. Check out Galatians chapter 3 verses 13 and 14. I believe it's a great story <laughs> there for you and for me. Into thy hands, O oh Lord, <laughs> we commend our spirit.